Good day guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to uh, quickly talk about room, rooms and face. Okay, so let's start. So first I'm going to create a project and I'll quickly um, place some wall. Actually before that, so because uh, the default uh, floor plans is, is new construction okay so this is a new construction floor plan so to model some existing rooms and walls so we need to ch first change the face to existing now let's model some more wa so for example we have um, i'll just model something like this and some some wall between oh oops sorry uh, go wall wa and also some wall here okay so and also i'm going to model some room separator so maybe one here and one here so now let's place some room r m so you can use this place room automatically you know so that's it and also to make it easier for you to see the room so i'm just going to vv go vv and room and turn on the interior fill and reference so now we can see the blue color so this is very useful because sometimes when you place double so for example if i place another room here and then you will see the color so you can see from this uh color so and you have a um, redundant room somewhere so you just need to delete one of them and that's it so once all the colors uh, light blue that's all good okay uh, and also yeah it will help if you have a, a, a room without a room in it and then it will show white color so and sometimes you miss some part of this model and then you can easily tell uh, I need a room there yeah room again so you'll place it a room there so now this is existing right it, let me just quickly uh, duplicate this view and also I'll ch change the face to a new construction okay so maybe let me just rename it and this will be oh hell sorry this is new uh this is new and this one will be existing so existing floor plan and new construction so um proposed sorry so this this is existing and this is new proposed so um let's pretend in the new in the new um, proposed floor plan I'm going to uh, demolish this part and also I'm going to combine these two rooms and I'll add a wall between these okay so let's do it so I'll first draw a wall here I'll demolish this wall so you can use the, the little hammer and also remember a uh, room separator is just like a wall uh, an invisible wall so you, you shouldn't delete it because if you delete it so i'll show you so let me just wt to show both uh, floor plan so if you delete it and you will delete the boundary between these two rooms okay you will mess up the existing floor plan so instead of delete so it's just like a a wall so you, you can de demolish demolish in new construction or use that tool okay so this way you will see this uh, become red which is uh, demolished and it, you won't mess up the existing floor plan okay so now now let's um, turn uh, uh, wish 
let's let me just check the the graphics settings or go to room so actually uh, it's because we duplicate from this view it's all already checked but the, which means there's no room here so this is a um, how the room uh, act so if you create the room so you will see this is a face you can't demolish a room room you can't room will not be can't be demolished so it will only so that's only one face associated to the room so that's existing here and this room will not go to the new okay so you can do what uh, place um, you can place all these rooms here but they will only stay in the existing phase so and um, so this is hell let me just change this to uh, previous and new okay previous and new so we won't show oh sorry short <laughs> sorry previous and new here so we won't see any demolished element so this is a new floor plan so what we need to do is we need, just need to create new rooms but some of the rooms some of the room we we actually we didn't change so for example this room and this one and this one so what you can do is so you can place all the new rooms so for example i'm going to place this one this one and this one because they are all different to the existing floor plan but these ones they are the same to the existing one so for example this one i'll call it existing room one okay and this one will be a uh, existing room two and existing room three so of course that's maybe existing room four five six and so what we're going to do is select all these select this room existing so these three Control c go here and you can paste a line to current view so this way uh, you create three new rooms using this same exact same information from the existing room okay so the only thing different so if you so you can see so if you select this room it tells you that's number two existing room one if you click on this one uh, looks like the number change but the name at least the name is still the same okay so now you can just room tag let's tag room so you can also use the tag all okay you can tag uh, which one um, this one yeah so and then use room tag and okay so it will automatically tag all the uh, room now uh, which uh, you haven't tagged so now you will see the room the room name are the same and I believe if you have if if you have all these uh, any information or the parameters um, in the parameters in for the existing when you copy and paste they will still stay the same okay so um, okay so this this is it so existing floor plan new floor plan and um, just yeah I, 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 yeah I know it's a little bit confusing so when you first try to work with room because room is a very special uh, element so um, just have a have a try have a test have, have a play so you will get it I believe okay so that's it for today uh, if you have any questions please let me know I'll see you next time bye